We'll take a look here at some feedback we're seeing. A new kitchen fee at restaurants in western New York has a lot of you talking online. The so-called kitchen appreciation fees are optional and average about 3%. Many customers have said they feel ambushed by it, though, and many of you say you wouldn't pay at all. While this trending story comes from the Buffalo area, there are some restaurants in our own backyard with similar measures in place. WCNC Charlotte's Tradisha Woodard shares the impact some say they're seeing from this extra money for their staff members. Well, some restaurants here in Charlotte have added kitchen fees to checks, giving folks the option to tip the kitchen workers as well. It's a small difference. Restaurant workers say is making a big change. There is definitively less of a drive to to work and more of a what can you do for me? Got it. After years of filling the pinch of the industry's labor shortage and the impacts of the pandemic, where a number of places were forced to close their doors, restaurants like Leroy Fox says they're seeing progress. I've kind of changed the culture here from what it was when I took took over the spot. There was a lot of lack of trust. We spoke to a dozen restaurants from across our area who also say changes in the workplace are helping, while others tell us adding a kitchen appreciation fee has helped them retain their workers. Because people are like, why should I come to work? Why should I be here if I'm not getting paid, you know, what I'm worth? So I definitely believe like adding incentives um, within the bill when people eat out will uh, boost um, more staffing in the restaurants. Sophia's Lounge is just one restaurant from the Fifth Street Group using the added gratuity initiative. They say the added option to tip the back of the house raises their pay from 15 bucks an hour to $25 an hour. I want everyone to get paid what they should be getting paid. But sometimes you just have to make certain changes and adjustments. As restaurants continue to pivot towards growth, they're also encouraging others who may be struggling to pick back up to keep going. Don't give up. Tradisha Woodard, WCNC Charlotte.